Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Xamarin Android Navigation Drawer using the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So a navigation drawer or Xamarin Android Navigation Drawer allows the user to choose an alternate parent for app navigation. So it also allows a user to jump across an application's navigation hierarchy as well. The application should treat this as, as it treats app navigation from a different task, replacing the current task stack using a task stack builder or similar. So this is the only form of navigation drawer that should be used outside of the root activity of the task, okay? So enough of all the talking, so let's get into the real stuff here. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 open. So to get, to get us going here, please make sure you've installed all the necessary components for Xamarin Android. If you haven't, please watch one of my videos. I've, I've actually have a video on that. Yeah, but if you have, let's go straight into it. So let's um, go to a start a new project. So on the start a new project, so as you can see here, we can select it's all languages, all platforms, and we select mobile here. So here we select, our, as you can see, we've got a mobile app application using Xamarin.forms. We're not going to use that. We're going to use the second one here, which is the building Android application with Xamarin. So this is just a project template for creating Android phone and tablet apps with Xamarin. Yeah. So we select this and we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details here, yeah? like the project name, the location, and the solution name. But we're not going to look too much into that. So we click on the create here. Yeah? So as you can see, yeah, Visual Studio provides us templates for us to be able to build the navigation drawer application. So if we look on the screen here, yeah, we've got a thing we can we'll be able to get started with a single view application, a navigation drawer application, a tapped application, or you can just start from blank, okay? So if we select the navigation drawer application here, yeah, let's see, it's an Android application that uses a panel on the left side to present navigation options. So use this as an alternative to tabs if you have a lot of navigation targets and want to maximize screen space, okay? So for this video, what we will do is we're just going to explore this um, navigation draw application template, yeah? So on my upcoming videos, yeah, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will be able, to, we will write, I mean, we get started from scratch and build the same stuff, yeah? But for this video, obviously, is to get us started. So let's select on the navigation draw application. And as you can see, you have got minimum Android version here. So if you're new to it, so you, we're going to leave it after this, but obviously you can select the minimum Android version that you would like to target, okay? So once you've selected it, we click on OK. So this might actually take a while for the whole thing to load. So what I'm going to do is just going to pause the video while the whole thing loads. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the project templates created for us. So I'm just going to minimize this reference a little bit here. So as you can see, it's very simple. We have, we have the main activity, that is mainactivity.cs, which is up in there. We will look at it shortly. But first of all, let's explore what is inside here. So first, we look at the assets, yeah? So as you can see, we've got nothing inside the assets here. So this, we're just going to minimize it. We're going to open this, um, the, the resources folder. So basically, the resources folder contains, we've got um, a drawable folder. Let's look at it. So the drawable folder contains um, an XML file. It's a side navigation bar or side nav bar, yeah? Let's click on it. So this is just a very simple stuff here. Yeah, it's actually defined um, like a rectangular shape, yeah. So it's nothing really going on here. So 
I'm, I'm, I'm just going to close this bit here. So if we go to the Durable 21, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff here. First of all, we've got an icon, IC menu camera and whatnot. Yeah, we're not going to look too much into that. Yeah, so I'm just going to collapse that bit as well. So the next bit is the, the layout folder. So as you can see on the layout folder, we've got a bunch of um, XML files. So look, first of all, let's look what is inside the activity main XML. So if you are if you are new to this here, yeah, so basically once once we open the XML, yeah, we've got a designer on the left side and then the code on the on the right side here. Yeah. So you can actually have a look at the design designer how everything is coming up while you're writing your code okay so as you can see here yeah, we've got um, an open um a drawer on the left drawer yeah displaying all the necessary menus yeah so if we look inside here as you can see we've got a bunch of not really a lot here so we've got um an android x drawer layout with, a, with like with android x drawer layout okay so we're not going to look too much into that. So let's go to the app bar or the application bar underscore main XML. Let's look at what is actually going on there. So as you can see here, so this this was this showing all the, the the main application, yeah, page, yeah, okay. So it's got a bunch of a uh, bunch of um, XML. Code says so you can actually take your time and have a look at it, okay? And we've got the the main content the XML. So as you can see here, it's actually, it's showing that previous one, yeah. So this this actually targets the the main content, yeah. And it's a it's a relative layout, so so you can take your time and and have a look at what is actually going on. We don't we don't have enough a lot of time, so I'm just gonna leave it here. We're just going to quickly explore the menu bit here. So we've got the activity menu, activity main drawer the xml yeah so basically this this has this contains the what, what we looked at earlier on um the menu for the for the sidebar or the side that where is it so this is what we've got here so import gallery slide um slideshow whatever so if you look at it here we've got the same thing here okay so there's nothing really fanciful going on here so um, let's have a look at, um, not to waste time, let's have a look at what is actually going on inside the, the, the main activity. So if we look at it here, so the, on the create, on create our method, yeah, we've got a bunch of uh, references here. So to be able to have a look properly, so let's run it to see what, it's, uh, what is actually going on. So as you can see here, yeah, I've got my emulator app here and we've got the application running. So this application name is um, app5 for some reason here. Yeah. So once we click on this here, yeah, so this is the uh, nav navigation drawer that I'm talking about, okay? So you can click here, go to whatever page that you want, yeah? So like I said, yeah, this is just to explore what we have here in terms of the template, yeah? But on my next video, we're going to create the same thing from scratch here yeah, so that we can have a look at what is actually going on yeah so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel okay because as you know i've got lots of videos coming up here yeah. so i hope you can follow this template here yeah, and and have a look at what it, uh, have a look at both the code and you run it and see what is actually going on so if you've got any question yeah you can drop a line yeah so hopefully i'll make um, a video on this topic here from scratch so that we can look at how we can go about it in terms of achieving this so have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace